Hello everyone, Joe here. In today's Final Cut uh, Pro tutorial, we're going to show you how to add transition effects and music to our video files. And this right here, uh, I already have two time lapse videos dropped in on our timeline. That should work quite well for this. Now, the first thing I want you to do is to go over here, and this one area looks like a little X is our transitions browser and you know we click on that it will bring up our transitions now you have options here to show all blurs dissolves lights movements of course some objects you can throw in replicators and clones some stylized uh, options and some swipes. Now the ones I use the most are dissolves and lights, but everybody has their own uh, special type of editing they ought to do. So we're gonna first start by adding some here. Now the front of the video right here, I want to throw in something nice. So I'm gonna have a fade to a color. Now what this is gonna do is gonna add by default a fade in of black as we show you here you know quite nice and that works quite well but maybe we want to add some transitions to our video here you know we can try a cross dissolve let's try a cross dissolve first okay there's it says here there's not enough extra media beyond the clipped edges to create the transition this is fine because it will actually Pull the media files closer together and we'll still create the transition. And see, the transition looks quite nice. Okay. And there's also lights. If you want to put, say, like a light in, you probably see me use this one quite often. You can just double click on flash and it will change that one to a flash, as we can see here. You know, pretty interesting. Okay, now movements, there's a few down here I actually do like. Let's say we want to change that one to a spin in. And then we'll see now, it adds a nice spin in. But maybe we want to edit the actual file. So what we can do is double click on it. And here you can see it added the transition between the front of our clip and the end of the other. Now we could also grab the clips and move them across. For example, maybe we want to have the yellow uh, clouds and stuff you know, come in for our video. We can pull it in that way and we can also adjust this one the same as well. And when we get done, just double click on it again. So now we have a slightly bit, a little bit different, uh, different start transition. Okay. In addition to that, we can actually increase and decrease the duration of the transition. So for example, I'm going to put this back on fade, which is one of our dissolves and you'll know, cross dissolve here. Okay. We can now grab this one and we do it this way. And we can increase if we add more file here we can continue to increase the fade duration and I can show you here no that's pretty interesting okay Now let's add a fade out here. Okay. Let's see. Now let's check on what the duration is of our video. We have, as you can see down here at the bottom, 22, you know, seconds of video. There's actually 22 seconds and 10 frames of total video. And this is all 1080p. Okay. Well, now let's add some music. Now, before we add any music, 
what I recommend is there are some uh, audio meters here. If you double click on them, we'll click on single time, they'll actually appear here on the side. And I actually like having mine appear here. Okay, now if you see the musical notes, we can click on that. Now let's go through here. This is our jingles, you know, Apple iLife music and stuff. Let's see if we can't find something around 20 seconds. Okay. It was preview one of these. Well, not exactly what we're looking for. Perhaps cakewalk. That seems pretty interesting. Hmm. So, let's decide which one we want here. I think for cakewalk, we'll use this one. And we can simply just bring it over. Now, you can have it pull in in any place you want to. Okay. Now, if you'll notice here on the side that we can pull in and have it fade in or fade uh, or fade out in a smoother transition. I want to have mine put to one second. In addition, you'll notice when we put our mouse cursor over the bars here, it says zero decibels. This is why I wanted you to have the meters up. It's because this, the meters help you monitor your audio levels. And you don't want anything to exceed zero decibels. You want to keep everything around negative two decibels, which is, you know, a lot softer on the ears. That way you're not uh, overblowing the speakers. Okay. But I want to lower it down some. Let's see here about negative, if I can get it on it. <laughs> negative 10 decibels. If you don't want to change it that way, you can move it over here in the audio settings. Okay. Now I want to change my pan mode. The stereo left and right and equalizer I want to put on loudness so now let's view our time-lapse with our music okay not too bad but let's just say we want our music to get to get louder at this part, we can hold our option button and click on there. Now this puts in a uh, anchor point or a keyframe. And let's connect, put another one here. What this is going to do is let me pull up the volume here to about negative three decibels. So now our music will actually get louder during this transition effect. This is very useful when doing over vocals. You know, so let's export this. I want everybody to view it from start to finish. And I hope everybody enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you found it useful. If you do, how about a good thumbs up? Thumbs up is always highly appreciated. If you get any questions or comments, you know, be sure to put those down at the bottom. I'm going to try to best to help you out best I can. And until next time, everyone, thanks for watching the video.